Hey y'all, uh, um, I'm gonna make this quick video explain something to y'all. Um, for me, this is a, a very heartbreaking message. Um, <clears throat> my, I think my most popular video on this channel is a, a, a short video of me kind of doing a walk around of a Volkswagen Beetle, a white one with red, white, and blue stripes and number 53. Her be the love bug. That's my favorite Disney character. I have wanted to drive one, wanted to have one as a car since I was eight years old in second grade. I got one uh, just as my senior year of high school was coming to a close. And I had it for a good while from then. And uh, I've been a lot of places with that car. Uh, went to Warm Springs, Georgia, Huntsville, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, all around Phoenix City, Alabama, and Columbus, Georgia, Auburn, Alabama. Um, Ormond Beach, Florida, Daytona Beach, Florida, Vero Beach, Florida. Um, I don't think I ever drove it to Atlanta, but, um, it was a dream come true to get that car and to have it. So, uh, this is very painful to announce it. Last night. I was on my way back from an umpire meeting. That's something else. I took that car and I took it going to a lot of places to umpire ball games, umpire baseball games. I was on my way back from a meeting in Alexander City, and I was just north of Auburn. And there was a car in front of me that um, blew a tire, and so that caused him to slow down pretty quickly. And it was really dark outside, even though I had my headlights on. And by the time I saw the taillights and pressed the brake pedal, I knew then when I pressed the brake pedal, I'm going to hit him. And I did. Their car turned out all right. It, you know, had some dents on the back uh, driver's side part of the car. Like where the trunk and the tail light is, but it looks like it was still drivable. I don't, I don't know. But um, Herbie, Herbie didn't make it. In the uh, front passenger side corner, with uh, that that wheel, that tire, um, wiper fluid, I think it was leaked out. I could hear it as I got out of the car, just. Draining out, seeing it all crushed up. Um, thinking this is bad. I uh, called my parents and they were on their way and went to the other car and they were both all right. Nobody was hurt. I have a, yeah. A red mark. It's uh, that's from the airbag. Airbag only came to about right here anyway. I, I never touched it except for right there. But I didn't need to, so that was good. Um, eventually we called 911. Had the police. Police came first. So those who were all about, oh, defund the police, a boss of police. Remember, if you have something like this happen to you, they're going to be the first ones there. And uh, sure enough, police were. Came to me first. Took ID, uh, in insurance, went over to their car. Eventually, ambulance came, check on us. I went to my arm, they said it was good. Fire truck came too, but as they were driving by, they just gave him the thumbs up and they just kept on going. Um, so, 
very thankful nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. Uh, although Herbie was. The car. Uh, so. Just seeing that car there. I even tried to maybe turn the ignition on one more time. See if I could get it off the road a little bit. It wouldn't budge. It's done. So that uh, that childhood fantasy is over. At least for now. Unless I can find another one at some point. Um, it's not what I'm looking to do. I'm going to just try to find something that doesn't cost that much. But it's reliable. can get me from point A to point B. Um, that Beetle was not the perfect car necessarily. We did have some trouble with it. But there were times. Were months at a time. It, it would be just fine. <clears throat> um, I was there for him, Herbie, and he was there for me. Fortunately, that's no longer going to be the case. We just put new decals on it before I went to umpire school on New Year's Day. Got those on the days leading up to that. Uh, we had one more decal coming, the um, 53 on the back. And we never got it on, so it's just sitting in the dining room. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I think we're going to go to the towing company at some point and get my California license plate off of it. Hold on a second. <clears throat> All right, I'm just checking the mail. I was preparing some TTMs, but I guess I'll have to send them tomorrow. That's okay. Uh, I guess we'll get the... California OFP 857 Herbie license plate off the front of the car. And yeah, unless there's some kind of miracle way they can repair it, it's over. And uh, thinking about that is a dagger into my heart. It really is. Uh, I've said in my head over and over again that Herbie, I'm sorry. Um, there was no fault in the accident. They call them accidents for a reason. <clears throat> Nonetheless, still very, uh, very hard to take. Uh, I know I'm okay, but... You know, I I would have taken a few more bruises and scratches and drawn a little more blood if it meant that Herbie could have been salvaged. But that's not what happened. I got comfortable with that car, and now I'm going to have to find another one. This is right when parents having to deal with stuff, with taxes, and although I think we're just about done with that. My dad's new car hadn't even come in yet. He's supposed to be getting a new one. So within four days, my family's gone from four cars to two. And but, but that moment of impact. I've I've seen TV commercials, of, <clears throat> particularly insurance commercials or attorney commercials. You know, that'll have sights and sounds simulated of car accidents and I've also ridden theme park rides where you're moving around a bunch there's vibrations and it simulates a lot of that but being in the real thing and then getting out of the car and smelling the fumes of the airbag and the wreckage it's it's scary it is um, even if you're all right, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's, it's still scares you. And it was, um, so <clears throat> I've already told my high school umpire association for the time being, I'm not available for games. 
In fact, right now, I should be on my way to Auburn going to call a scrimmage game, but I don't have the means to get there, so I told him I can't make it. Uh, this uh, past, what is it, 20 hours or so? What happened? Maybe 8.45 around there last night. 21 hours, I guess, um, have been a whirlwind, uh, been a nightmare sometimes, I think, well, maybe I'll, last night I was thinking, maybe I'll wake up from this, I'll look out the window and Herbie will still be there, I woke up and he wasn't. It's not a dream. It actually happened. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to take right now, but life will go on. And this is a chance for me to continue to grow as a person and an umpire. You know, talking about, you know, umpires got me mentally tough. Here's a chance for me to get mentally tough. Uh, I think that's the Christ like way to look at it is to. See, everything is an opportunity. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try to do that. I'm not going to say that I'm always going to see it that way, you know, all the time these next few days, next few weeks maybe even. Um, but I'm going to try. Try to get me something new to drive. Um, Herbie's never going to be forgotten. I have a, a diecast toy car of him on display in there. I have another one, two others actually, in my closet, <clears throat> and uh, I have some other little Harvey pieces here and there around my room, I have the four classic movies and the Lindsay Lohan one in uh, my dresser, um, in a few weeks my family's going to Disney World, there's a Love Bug Hotel at the All Star Movies Resort. Maybe we'll stay there, maybe we won't. If we don't, I'll still be able to go over there and check it out. They have a a Volkswagen Beetle Herbie car there that I can see. Um, Herbie's always going to be a big part of my life. It was a blessing to call him my first car. Uh, no matter what car I get after this, my second, third, fourth cars, none of them will match my first. <clears throat> so, this is hard, but it too will pass. Somehow. I've even prepared some through the mail stuff. One to Andre Dawson, and I've got one going up to Mike Mucina right now. On the back of my letter of request, I've kind of explained the situation. Tell them, hey, totaled the car, so I don't have the monetary means to give you 10 bucks. So if you could make an exception and sign, that'd be great. But if you can't, just send back the card and I'll understand. Will it work? I don't know. A lot of times these players, they don't care. A lot of times they don't even read the letter. That's why I've written on here. I know it's backward, but it says, please read the letter. Hopefully they'll do that and they can have a little bit of sympathy. If not, oh well, you know. Can't expect the whole world to stop just for you. It's not going to. And, uh, well, neither am I. Um, it's not going to be too long before I got games to call. I get a new car. And I'm going to be moving on. Um, moving on, possibly with a heavy heart, and, uh, of course, you know, mourning a loss is not just something you just get over, it's something you kind of more so learn to live with, so that's how it's going to be, learning to live with not only the, the, the loss of a friend, even if it was a, a four-wheel friend, 
but living with the uh, horrifying memories of February 9th, 2022, just north of Auburn, Alabama. It could have been way worse. It could have. Um, that, you know, that doesn't take away from what, that, what did happen. But uh, I'm going to do my best to go forward and continue to try to find ways to put smiles on people's faces. Right now, I can't do it through just driving my car around. Because there were countless times people would look out the window and they'd smile or they'd look or they'd have cell phones or people take pictures. Um, I cannot do that now unless I get some other TV movie themed car, which I don't plan to do unless I want to get a black car and paint a little red stripe on the front of it for Kit from Knight Rider. But I don't know. Uh, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes. Thanks for for listening. I just wanted to uh, kind of put it all out there. I guess this video is maybe more so for me than for you, for me to be able to just say it all out loud, put it in perspective uh, a little less than 24 hours after the fact. So thank you for your time. And hopefully, Herbie, I'll meet you again.